Allies of Deputy President William Ruto have expressed reservations about sections of the BBI report but failed to outrightly declare whether they would oppose a referendum. The leaders picked all in the report saying some proposed amendments will take back the country to the dark days while others do not require a referendum. Immediately after the report was unveiled on Wednesday, El Geomarco at Senator Kipchumba Murkomen described it as a total sum of all the parochial attitudes and behavior of politicians creating positions for themselves at the top. But Eskerichua counterpart Aaron Cheruyot said the BBI has some progressive proposals as well as some usually flawed governance issues. Of concern to the DP allies is the return of what they termed an imperial president who will have sweeping powers over both the executive and judiciary. Majority of them hold the view that the reintroduction of a prime minister and two deputies does not cure the winner-takes-all nation as the president will most probably pick them from his or our party. With parliament having no role in the vetting and approval of the principal secretaries, they say it will be difficult to address inclusivity. According to proposals in the report handed to President Uru Kenyatta and ODM leader Rila Odinga, the president will appoint a prime minister and two deputies from the largest party in parliament. Murkoman said it does not make sense for a presidential running mate to be powerless, yet he or she sought the votes with the president. The former Senate majority leader said while the report which will be unveiled on Monday at Bombers of Kenya is creating the opposition of the official opposition leader, it will be an expensive structure of government. He warned that the forces behind the BBI should not push for the changes with the Ruto as the target. Gatun South MP Moses Kuria said at the moment Ur and Raila have control over the two dominant parliamentary parties, Jubilee and ODM, and they will influence who get the positions. The Rakanidi Senator Kidura Kidiki described the report as too much flawed language and an attempt to rewrite the constitution afresh.